Okay, in this video, I'd like to talk about the 1D quantum linear harmonic oscillator, and I'm going to talk about applying the operators. And this is actually very subtle, and because it's subtle, it's very important. Because if you don't, um, I suppose if you misunderstand how they're applied, well, then you're just going to get completely incorrect answers. And that meant that the, the whole operator method didn't work for you. So, in previous videos, I showed you how to get the creation and annihilation operators, and here they are defined there. So what we need to work out here is what exactly do the operators do? Well, A plus, if you start out with UN, you get N plus 1 times UN plus 1. So what, in English, what does that mean? Well, what it means is you raise N, then you root it. That's what that means. Okay, so you raise it into N plus 1, and then you root it. Whereas A minus, okay, you started out with UN, and then, so you, what you did here was you rooted it, and then you then you lowered it. So the A plus, it raised it and then rooted, whereas the A minus, it uh, rooted, then lowered it. So let's take an example. If we apply A plus and A minus on UN. Notice that, well, I haven't really shown that they don't commute, but I'm telling you that they do not commute. All right? So A plus, A minus is not equal to A minus, A plus. That's not the same. Okay? So what this means, you apply this first and then this onto the result. You apply this first and this onto the result. All right. So let's go ahead and do both of these these sums here and see what happens. Okay. So I'm going to do a plus, a minus onto u n. So a minus, okay, a minus is roots it and then lowers it. So it roots u n. So we get root n, and then we get u n minus one, and we have a plus. But we know that a plus it raises it and then roots it. Now, but this un here, this n is a constant, so take him outside. So I suppose we could rearrange it like this if we wanted. We could do that. We could write it that way if you really want to. So we get root n times, and we need to raise it, then root it. So we get the square root n, and we get un, which is just n times un. And then if we go a, um, a minus a plus, excuse me, a minus a plus, we're going to get uh, un again. Here we have a minus times. We need to raise it, then root it, so we get root n plus 1, and we get u n plus 1. This is a constant, so pull him out. Okay, and then we have the constant again. Now we need to root it, then lower it, so we get the square root n plus 1, u n, and then we get n plus 1, u n. Okay, so let's see, let's just have a look at the commutator here. We know a plus, a minus, and a minus, a plus. So the, let's look at the commutator of a plus and a minus. That's going to be equal to a plus, a minus, minus, a minus, a plus. Okay, so a plus, a minus we had was n times un, and we need to take away from that n plus 1 times un. That's going to be equal to un outside of n minus n plus 1. That's going to be equal to 1. Isn't it? Yeah, 1 times un. So the point is that the commutator is not equal to 0. It's equal to 1. Oh, sorry, you couldn't see that. I take that back there. You couldn't see it. So, um, yeah, that's uh, that's all we got to say about that. So, yeah, I'm going to do one more video about um, the different the different types of op or the different types of things you can do with our operators. So, yeah, I'd, I'd say you look at that as well. Thanks for watching. Please pass it on to your friends and uh, um, subscribe to my channel.